Hey there, you insanely cheap like me, to the point where all you spend money on is food or graphics cards? Never fear fellow gamer, I got you. Today I'm going to show you how to get a better Elgato Stream Deck for $5. Now that's a great price. First step is just to find the cheapest numpad you can find. This one says $6, I got mine for 5 It really doesn't matter, they're all going to serve the same purpose. All right, now you gotta download Auto Hotkey. This is what we're gonna use to make the numpad into the Stream Deck, basically. Once you download it, you can see that you can create a script. I'm just calling mine tutorial. This is the tutorial, whatever. Create. It'll appear on your desktop. And now this is where you create your scripts to do whatever you wanna do. There's a key list they have up. So, you know, it's just remember shit. I usually just have it pulled up. But the easiest way I find to do it, first I gotta close my scripts. So it doesn't interfere. The easiest way I find to do it with it is just open a notepad. And from there, you're basically coding. Don't worry though. Maybe you, like me, don't really know how to code. Well, Auto Hotkey makes it really, really easy. It's basically just like typing in a Minecraft command. You just tell it what you want to do. Now I'm going to show you what a really advanced auto hotkey script looks like with a lot of different parts to it, but that's not really to intimidate you. It's just more to show you the power and what you can actually do with auto hotkey. It's super powerful. You can do so many different things with it, but it's also really easy to learn. For most people just trying to do stuff on the stream deck, it'll just be as simple as typing in a few different words and letters really not that hard anyway now i'm gonna get you into the basics when you want to just simply bind your numpad key let's take numpad one in this example to a random key on your keyboard it is simply that key as it should be an auto hotkey like how they say it then the two colons and then the m two colons are like your run command then it's just the key you want. Now we just run the script, choose an option, press numpad one, and then what happens? It's M now. Wow, that's crazy. That was five dollars. Anyway, this is pretty simple stuff. Basically anything can do this, but we can take it much, much further. All right, let's say you wanna do something a little more useful. Like, actually, skip a Spotify song. I have a 60% keyboard, so in order to do that, I have to press Control FN. Control, it's really annoying. I would rather just press numpad 3. So, the Spotify keybind to do it is Control, right arrow. Control, right arrow. I wrote that down here. Control and right arrow. So, I want to make numpad number 3. The key I'm changing. My colons for the command space. And then I already looked up the key list, control, or control, you can write it like this. But it also has a hotkey prefix, and this is things they do to save you time instead of having to write it out. There's a little prefix, and I recommend learning them. So they're really helpful for saving time, like I just said. And then we can find, oh, not in there, but we can find right arrow. It's the best way to do it, control F to search. Right arrow, and it'll just correspond to a right capital R. Simple enough, just one line of code, nothing complicated. Save that. Make sure I don't have any other scripts running. Now run it real quick. 1.1. Boot up Spotify. And it works just like in Temin. Super, super simple. This is a command, run MS settings Bluetooth. It doesn't actually work because I'm dumb and the run shouldn't be there. And it's just like I'm doing command prompt or something. I can't even talk. But anyway, I didn't know how to fix it. So I looked it up and look at all these community posts. There is a huge community. And most of them, especially if you join the server, will just write the code for you if you ask them. 
I could not figure out how to get my numpad 9 to like Spotify songs. And I just asked someone in the community. They genuinely spent 20 minutes and wrote up some code for me. It was one of the coolest things ever because they just gave it to me for completely free. So for $5, I think I have achieved a superior Elgato stream deck with no arguments to be made. My power is infinite, but Elgato's is limited. Also, here's me running the Bluetooth.